Hello, everybody. And a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Baby Lilibet, the youngest child of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex has spent her first birthday in the UK. She and Archie are visiting from their home in California for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in London. It is the first time the young royal has met her namesake and great-grandmother, the Queen. Although Harry and Meghan were present for the Trooping the Color Parade, they weren't seen until the next day at St. Paul's. Only working members of the royal family were invited onto the balcony, but the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were able to attend the Thanksgiving service. Sadly, the Queen could not attend due to some mild discomfort arising from the events of the day before. For those asking if we will get a photo, we have no idea if the Platinum Jubilee wasn't happening we'd be more confident, but who knows who may be surprised with one maybe with her great-grandmother and namesake the Queen. Nonetheless, we hope the Sussexes have the best time celebrating their daughter's first birthday. Meghan's go to UK based hairstylist, George Northwood, share a lovely update on Archie and Lily yesterday. So nostalgic and wonderful to be reunited, Harry, Meghan, and their family in the UK. Archie has grown to be a cutest, well mannered little boy, and Lilibet is just beautiful. On June 4, 1996, Princess Diana visited Northwestern University, Meghan's alma mater. One of five years later, on June 4, 2021, Northwestern graduate Meghan gave birth to Diana's granddaughter. Lilibet Lily Diana Malpitt Windsor was born on Friday, June 4. She was born at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital in Santa Barbara and weighed 7 pounds 11 oz. A hospital founded by 50 women, incredible. Lily is named after her great-grandmother, Her Majesty the Queen, whose family nickname is the Libet. It was coined when the then Princess Elizabeth was a toddler in the 1920s and struggled to pronounce her own name properly. The Queen's father, George VI, was quoted as saying of his daughters, Lilibet is my pride. Margaret is my joy. The nickname was also used by the monarchy's late husband, Prince Philip, as well as close family and friends. Her middle name, Diana, was chosen to honor her beloved late grandmother, the Princess of Wales. Lilibet's shortened name is Lily. A flower name is so perfect and a clear nod to her mom, Doria. You'll recall, Doria's personal nickname for Meghan is Flower. The Sussexes announced on Valentine's Day that they were expecting their second child. Lily was a skunk. She was a little skunk. It was so cute. I know, like flower from Bambi. I mean, just <laughs> but Lily is now teething, so you're not, yeah. you didn't sleep last night. I no. love that you're here, but um, oh, of course. you're not sleeping at all. Well, she's a good sleeper, but the teeth are coming in. So, you know, any moms will understand that where you go, they might be the best sleeper in the world. And then the moment that that's happening, you just have so much sympathy for them. So yes, I've been up most of the night. But that thing that when I was uh, giving her that, that's a great teething thing. I'm sure everyone knows this, but when you put it in the freezer and it's cold and oh, it's on yeah. their gums, that really soothed her. That's great. Or old school style, you just take a washcloth and dip it in some apple juice, or right? All the moms are nodding. You go, anything, anything to relieve that. Tequila, them. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't tried that yet. Yep. Yeah. I know. That's Auntie Ellen for you. Yep, that's right. <laughs> that's why I don't have kids. Quick disclaimer. Everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. Did Queen Elizabeth finally meet Lilibet? While the British people celebrate 70 years of Queen Elizabeth II on the throne, it seems that a one-year-old, her namesake, is on the Queen's mind. So did the Queen finally get to meet little Lilibet? Keep watching. The Queen's Platinum Jubilee is in full swing after many months of anticipation. As People notes, from June 2nd to June 5th, Her Majesty's historic, 70-year reign will be celebrated with a variety of events including her birthday celebration, Tripping the Color, a Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral, and lots more. Although the Queen has had some health issues in recent months, she's expected to appear a handful of times over the weekend to celebrate with fellow royals and the public. According to BBC News, fans who gathered to catch a glimpse of the longest reigning monarch in British history were overcome with emotion. As one onlooker gush, seeing Her Majesty is something I've wanted to do all my life. This is one of the things that only comes around once in a lifetime, um, so it will probably never happen again. Clearly, the Jubilee is a landmark moment for Elizabeth, 
But the Telegraph notes it's also an opportunity for the royal family to come together in their largest gathering since the 2018 wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The Queen's public interactions with her great-grandchildren have already delighted fans, especially as she chatted with a misbehaving Prince Louis on the balcony during Tripping the Color. It seems that if anyone can get aboard four-year-old to stop making faces for a moment, it's Her Majesty. Of course, all eyes are on the Queen's interactions with the visiting Harry and Meghan. Some onlookers claimed that one introduction might save Meghan and Harry's relationship with the royals. And now, we know that it actually happened. Baby Lilibet has finally met her famous namesake. According to the Daily Mail, Queen Elizabeth and her great-granddaughter Lilibet, whose name was also Her Majesty's sweet childhood nickname, were finally introduced in Windsor, immediately following Trooping the Color. All eyes are on the Sussexes during their first trip back to the UK, as a family following their spectacular defection from their royal duties, but thus far, the trip has been surprisingly low-key. The celebrity couple is staying in their old digs at Frogmore Cottage, also in Windsor. They made their first major public appearance of the weekend at the Thanksgiving event at St. Paul's Cathedral Friday. Royal expert and biographer of the Sussexes, Omid Scobie, was the one to confirm the two Lilibets had finally met during an appearance on BBC Breakfast. Regarding little girl's first birthday, which falls over the weekend, Scoby said, I think people are expecting some sort of big birthday extravagant event that we're going to see photographs from. From what I'm told, we shouldn't expect anything. As the royal commentator explained, those moments with Lilibet are very much private between them and the Queen, and of course we know how much she's been looking forward to it. Scobie says Harry and Meghan don't want to draw too much attention to themselves, lest they steal focus from Queen Elizabeth. The couple reportedly arrived in the UK on a commercial flight Wednesday, with a spokesperson confirming to Page Six they were looking forward to celebrating with the Queen. The Sussexes are under the microscope at the Jubilee. In the run-up to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, Rumors swirled about whether Harry and Meghan would be welcomed with open arms or snubbed by the rest of the family. As The Mirror reported, Harry's older brother, Prince William, was concerned that anything he said or did at the event could later be used against him in one of Harry's lucrative Netflix projects, or might even pop up in Harry's upcoming memoir. William and wife Kate Middleton were also reportedly worried the Sussexes might try to steal the spotlight from Her Majesty. Page Six notes that Harry and Meghan aren't allowed to bring Netflix cameras into any of the palaces or official royal residences during their trip. They were also prohibited from joining the Queen on the balcony at Buckingham Palace for Trooping the Color, The Guardian reports. Yet, the royal defectors appear to have been greeted with enthusiasm by the Queen herself, if no one else. The Irish Sun confirmed she'd arranged for them to be picked up from the airport upon their arrival in the UK, and they received security protection accordingly. It remains to be seen whether the Jubilee will bring the full royal family together again, but considering how eager Her Majesty was to meet Lilibet, and how well their meeting appears to have gone, there's no bad blood at the top of the royal line. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.